In this video, I'll show you how to use the software for your on gaming mouse. This software over here can be downloaded for free. And uh, I'll show you how to get it from internet and also how to customize these buttons no matter which on gaming mouse you have because there's multiple of them. So to download that software that you need, first open any browser and then go on top here and the address where you need to go is on to dot tech. Okay, like this. So once you pressed enter, the software will automatically download. Um, you won't see any website actually appearing on the screen. It's just an address to be able to download. Wait for the software to actually download on your PC. It should take about a minute or two. Then we're going to click on the file that got downloaded. Press yes. We can close this web browser in the background. Then press next. Press finish. Double click on the software we just installed. First, they will tell you that there is no device detected and then this should appear. You have multiple preset slots. And by the way, you can delete some if let's say you don't need them all and they will disappear like this. And by the way, you can add even more than these. So you can have one for, let's say, gaming, one for photo editing, video editing, web browsing, I don't know. You can have as many as you want. And this means that each of them will have different presets for your mouse. So let's start by adding one of them. So I'm gonna click edit on the first one, like that. And once you enter over here, you're gonna see on the top right corner the battery percentage left in the mouse so you know when to charge it so let's get started if you just pass with your mouse cursor above the mouse you're going to see the different things you can edit over here i have um, the left click the scroll wheel the button under and the right side click if you choose another bar that is located under the mouse you're going to switch the position and you're going to have access to more buttons so over here we have the two buttons on the sides and finally if i click on the last bar i'm going to have the other buttons on the other side so let's start editing over here on the lower left side you're going to have the different dpi presets because this mouse has a dpi button that you can edit or you can add this button to be your dpi button it does not matter and every time you press on the button, it will switch between DPI 1, DPI 2, 3, 4, 5, and then reset to 1, 2, 3, like that. So you can have each of them customized. Let's say you, you don't want to have a very low DPI. You just want it to be very, I don't know, very quick. And I don't know if you see it, by the way, every time you adjust one of these, you're going to see the difference with your mouse cursor. Then you have Windows pointer speed. Again, play with these settings, check how the mouse reacts. It's a very personal thing. I cannot tell you what to choose really. It depends what you intend to use this mouse with. If we choose to edit one of the buttons, let's say I will go on the side. I want to edit this one. Well, click on it. And here we're going to have all the options. First of all, we have on the left side buttons and macros. These are the two main thing. So under buttons, you have a bunch of shortcuts you can assign. You can scroll through them and when you want, you simply check the button you want to use. Okay. Macros, well, it's macros. It's depending on which games or maybe you're on Photoshop and you want to do a shortcut, well, you can register it over here. How do you do this? Very easy. First, you're going to press this plus sign. Then you're going to give this a new name, let's say uh, Photo Shortcut. Then you're going to press the record button here. And let's say that shortcut is actually Control S. 
or multiple controls S, everything will be registered here. And, and if you're happy with whatever you see, press stop and by the way, you need to press on OK here. Every time you press that button, it will do whatever commands you have um, selected there. So you can do this with all the buttons, really. If at any time you want to reset that to um, the default, you're going to press this button. I don't want to press it, but this button is to reset whatever you set. Now, depending which on gaming mouse you have, this one does only have one button here. But if yours has two, one of them will be the lightning um, button. So you will be able to customize the lights, the RGB lights. This one only has one button. And unfortunately, you won't be able to customize the RGB on it. If it had two buttons, you will be able to click on the button right over here. And then it will allow you, it will say light, and you'll be able to switch colors and other RGB lights effect. Otherwise, once you're done editing this profile, you can click on the G here. And then you can go and customize the next one. On the lower side of the screen, you have assign GM. This is for these over here, game mode, GM for game mode, and GM library. This is where you can add yours. So you can give specific names, for example, Photoshop. Click OK, and it will be over here. It will say Photoshop, edit, and you'll be able to do the same thing with this mode as well.